I'm Alejandro Turrent from Casa Turrent Cigars. I'm going to uh, tell you how we uh, created this blend. Um, it's called Casa Turrent 1901. We um, wanted to make a cigar that is a representation of uh, Mexico. We wanted to create a cigar that um, can fit in most palates, um, probably not for the uh, really beginner, but for the consumer that uh, enjoys the um, uh, complex flavors, complex uh, tastes. Um, we know that our tobacco um, has a lot of uh, flavor, has a lot of um, richness. Uh, we uh, know that our tobacco uh, lacks a little bit of a strength. That's why we thought about blending it with Nicaragu Nicaraguan tobacco, which has that, contributes uh, with that. And we uh, started to play around with uh, the basically with the two main uh, tobacco seeds that we grow in Mexico, which is the San Andres Negro and the uh, Criollo San Andres. San Andres Negro is the original tobacco from the area, and Criollo San Andres it's a it's a Cuban seed that we've been growing in San Andres for uh, more than ten years already. We started to um, to 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 play to to try with different um, years. We started to play with different um, farms. We started to uh, to play with different uh, primes of the tobacco. So we found that um, the blend um, with the San Andres uh, Negro in the majority had a very, very unique uh, taste combined with the uh, Criollo in a smaller proportion and with a uh, less proportion, the Nicaraguan tobacco. So the majority of the tobacco that goes in the Casa Turrent is Negro San Andres, then is uh, Criollo San Andres, and then is the Nicaragua. We, we um, as many other uh, um, uh, tobacco people know that uh, the more uh, aging tobacco has, better. Uh, but you have to be careful not to go too much because then you start to miss some flavor. So it's a challenge to find uh, what, wh where to stop so, and when to stop. So we uh, did a lot of experiments with the uh, San Andres Negro. We aged it for one year and a half, for two years, for three years, and we found that that was the best moment for the tobacco. Uh, also, we found that we needed to age the tobacco uh, slowly not to rush it, not to um, uh, get the tobacco with a lot of, uh, with a high, very high temperature. You know? So that's also the reason why it takes a lot longer. Um, the Criollo San Andres, it um, requires also a long time, but not as much, because you are looking for um, some little bit uh, spiciness, uh, a lot of uh, uh, sweetness, a lot of uh, flavors. So if you go too much with the fermentation on the Criollo, you start to lose uh, flavor and, and, and strength. So that tobacco didn't stay for too long. We are using the Criollo San Andres that has been aged for about 18 months to two years. And the uh, Ligero from Esteli that we are using in the blend, that since it's a very uh, strong tobacco, it's uh, very, um, the lips are very thick, very heavy, 
it needs a lot more fermentation it can it can resist uh, higher temperatures so we um, knew about our tobacco but we didn't know too much about the tobacco from Nicaragua so we started to play around with the difference like I said with the difference um, with the uh, different tobaccos with the different uh, cuts with the different agings and it's it was a, a uh, it took us a long time it was a big challenge because uh, when you make a cigar when you make a blend and you smoke it you uh, might think that that's the right blend but if you smoke it maybe two weeks after or two months after it might change a lot and then you have to start over so it took us two years to find the right blend uh, I think the uh, what it also offers it's a nice very nice balance which is what uh, you must look in a cigar of course the flavor the aroma the strength the combustion that's something that uh, it should be on a cigar but the balance is very important uh, there are some cigars that uh, are very strong at the beginning but then and very flavorful but then the uh, the, the the enjoyment stops because it becomes uh, sour and uh, it changes the wrong way so you need to have balance and that's the uh, one of the main challenges when creating a blend.